minutes. <laughs> I'm almost like seven minutes away from here, and then I realized, oh, oh so did you go back? So no bait, no, bait. no snares, <laughs> and we're going to go crabbing. Now, how are you going to catch crab with no bait and no snares? Dude, more than fishing. It's you need more than coffee. Oh, would you look at that? Casting right into the sunrise. Beautiful day. That's a pop tart one. In between uh, crab stair sets, I'm gonna try a little rock fishing. Uh, never really have too much luck. Always tend to get snagged, but the water's so calm and we're early morning. I'm gonna just throw a high-low rig with a size two. Uh, mosquito hooks set up on a high-low rig with about 10 pound fluoro. So I'm gonna cast in between the rocks, um, put a little shrimp on there, and uh, spend some time trying to hook up on some rockfish while I let my crab snare soak and um, hopefully walk away with, with both today. All right, we're gonna let the snare soak a little bit more and uh, we'll come back to you in about 20 minutes. Meanwhile, we're just gonna hop along the edge of the rocks here and toss my high-low rig in between um, the large rocks and see if anyone comes out and bites. All right, actually, it's been about 10, 15 minutes since I set my first snare out there. Let's see how the braid top shot works out. Oh, hell yeah, this is, this is perfect. Nothing. Here's that 20 pound solar collector green mono. That's my baseline. And you can see the 20 pound uh, Berkeley Fireline braid. That's essentially my braid top shot that increases uh, the sensitivity when you're setting a crab snare. All right, new spot. I'm gonna let that soak for another 10 to 20 minutes. Oh, oh! Alright, important to move down. I guarantee this is a smelt. Oh, big smelt! Oh. <laughs> big smelt! Oh, this guy's big! Woo! That's a big one. Fun fighters, but not fun to eat. <laughs> we can. Yeah, I think we should. I think we should because we're low on bait. So, all right, we're gonna commit this guy to bait since some <laughs> since someone forgot their someone forgot their bait. So, blame this guy, not me. <laughs> What's the Asian fight? Oh. It's called a Filipino bus pass. <laughs> Let me on. <laughs> oh. Probably another, probably another dirty ass smell. Oh yeah, little fighter, little fighter. Not as big as the first one, I think. Woo! That was a good size one. Wow. Uh, uh. Come on, dude. <laughs> Slime rocket. Uh. Oh, maybe this one. Dude, I'm about to punch this guy. Bring two rods, one heavy for the snares, one light for the for the action, and uh, cast close for the rockfish and far for the perch and smell. That easy.
All right, just challenge June while we wait for our Dungeness uh, crabs to, to come to our snares. Just challenge them to a 1v1, one versus one. First fish challenge. First person to put a fish on their line wins what? Coffee? The next yeah, time sure. next time we meet up? Okay. No, not today. We'll oh, today? Yeah. Okay, right when we leave. First person to not only, they have to have the fish in hand. So if we both have the smelt, you know how hard they are to, uh, to palm, you have to have the fish secured in your hand for it to count. So 1v1, any kind of fish, first one to put on the line, gets coffee from the other person. I'm gonna use this. What is that? Their kind. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna use smelt as bait. So he's going for the uh, cannibal smelt. <laughs> I'm going for the smelt that uh, my shrimp like the most smelt, so. All right, 1v1, yep. let's do it. All right, we're gonna go to the spot that's been producing. We're gonna cast in on the count of three. Whoever catches the first fish, has it in hand, gets coffee. You ready? On the count of three. Okay. All right, one, two, three. Okay. Challenge is on. Oh, we're, we, we almost hit each other on that cast. Just gonna sit and wait. Let that coffee come to me. That's the coffee bell. When it goes off, free coffee for me. I'm gonna check my crab snare while we wait. That's how confident I am. You're on my turf now. All right, this is the mid 1v1 crab snare pull. So confident I'm gonna hear my bell, I don't even have to hold my pole. I'm gonna go catch a crab while I wait. None. You don't have a bell on yours, but I do. Oh, oh, oh! Oh wait, is it still there? Oh, did he go away? No! Maybe he stole my bait. No, 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 no! Oh no! He went to your bait! Oh, I better reel this in just in case! I better reel this in just in case! Just in case it's a tiny fish! Come on! Come on! No! Did he go in your? Oh no, he came off! He stole it! Wait, you have to land it! No! No! Oh, that's a big one! No! Oh! No! Oh my god, I had it! And he came off! Oh, he stole it! Uh, <laughs> mm. He grabbed the bait and then he took off and then his friend ate yours. Oh my god! That's a more than bullshit. Oh! Wait a minute, does it count? <laughs> That's the second fish he dropped out there. All right, good job, man. That's crazy. He took my bait, took off, ran to yours, and ate it. Wait, did he eat the shrimp, or did he eat? He ate the shrimp. He ate the shrimp, okay. He didn't eat it himself. Okay, that's crazy. This is gonna haunt me in my dreams now, the sound. <laughs> You're like the boogeyman. The fish boogeyman. All right, let's go get your coffee. <laughs> Oh yeah, there goes the prop. This is the taste of defeat. <laughs> uh, fortunately, it tastes pretty good. <laughs> cheers, cheers. Till next time. Yep. That's gonna be a good ending right there. <laughs> See you later. <laughs> Look at him. He is there. <laughs> Malone is doubled. They swat at it and steal it. Here comes Chicago. 17 seconds, 17 seconds from game seven or from championship number six. Jordan, open, 
Chicago with the lead. 